The next speaker on our list is Oydel. You have the floor. Mr. Austin, our organization, Oydel, has also been part of the COVID tracking, especially with regards to education, being our organization's main focus. Since the rise of COVID, we have carried out several models, such as researches or roundtables and open dialogues to which we have heard the voices of former ministers of education, enabling the dissemination of successful experience of different stakeholders in order to better understand the scope of the, better, of the present crisis. All these make us realize on a crucial future, the common good approach. Having said so, the right to education cannot be realized only through an exclusive relation between the public administrations and the children, but also considering the crucial role of many intermediate actors, such as the civil society, including non-governmental schools, communities, and last but not least, parents. Millions of parents have enabled the realization of the right to education for millions of children during this crisis. Indeed, the Convention of the Rights of the Child already recognizes that parents have the primary responsibility for the upbringing and development of the child. Thus, in order to overcome the durable challenges of this crisis, we need to regard parents as a crucial part of the equation that will lead us to ensuring the full awareness of children's rights, as mentioned before. Parents have responded positively when public authorities were overtaken by this crisis. Now, it is crucial to keep respecting parents as a trustful cornerstone for the realization of the right to education. Coming back to the idea of the importance of education as a common good, it is critical to recall that the most successful strategies to overcome, overcome this crisis in the field, educational field have therefore taken into consideration all stakeholders, including private companies, non-governmental schools, communities, and parents. In this regard, it is vital to overcome the tensions between governmental and non-governmental actors in the field of education. Lastly, we should not only be focused in applying a state-run good approach, but rather, as established in the 2030 Agenda, adopt a common good approach. Thank you. Thank you.